Huntsville wakes up to Brian and Tracy. Yeah, good morning to you. Where it ends, that's Bailey Zimmerman right here on the Wake Up Morning Show. Okay, all you comic book geeks, I got something special for you here. Mm -hmm. Airbnb is offering fans a chance to stay in homes from different movies, along with unique events uh, with celebrities. They're calling it Icon Experiences. And they'll continue to roll these out through the year. So here are some of the highlights. You could stay in Carl's house from Up. Yeah, that's awesome. The X Mansion from the X Men 97. The Ferrari Museum in Italy. Prince's house from Purple Rain. The Emotions Headquarters in Inside Out 2. <laughs> I love that. I wonder if they're going to give you the buttons and you start smashing stuff. <laughs> the uh, intimate Doja Cat performance in uh, the living room. Um, I don't know about that. The private comedy show hosted by Kevin Hart with special guests. These are some uh, some of the experiences that you could sign up for. Most of the experiences are free or at least uh, under $100 a person since they're basically promotional events. Uh, there's going to be a limited amount of bookings available. So if, uh, if you're interested in any of these things, you can uh, go to the events page a, and request a booking for from Airbnb. So you need to go check them out and uh, get all those details. I think that's awesome. But you know what they they need to do? They need to do the Hobbit House. The Hobbit House in New Zealand? Yeah. They need to do something like that. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. And do something like Star Wars, too. Oh, yeah. We could all sleep in the Death Star. (laughs) Justin Moore, and this is My Dirt on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Coming right up, your weather forecast. Also got some Florida Georgia Line and Jelly Roll on the way, too. All right. Well, after 114 years, the Boy Scouts of America is changing its name and rebranding as Scouting America. They say it's to reflect their, quote, ongoing commitment to welcome every youth and family in America to experience the benefits of scouting. Now, it goes into effect on February 8th of next year for their 115th anniversary. Now, girls have been allowed since 2018, and over 6,000 have already made Eagle Scout. Nothing's really changing there. The point is to just make sure people know it's not just for boys. Now, more than a few people online have pointed out there's already something called the Girl Scouts. So is this really necessary? And most don't don't realize that the two groups aren't actually affiliated whatsoever. Uh, I don't know about this one. Sawyer Brown, in all these years on KSAM. I'm Carlos... You're listening to 90s at Noon, the greatest iron country music. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. Also got some Patty Loveless and David Lee Murphy still to come. All right, time for a food story, and this might seem silly, but it could have huge implications when it comes to getting your ice cream fix and how much you pay for it. Cold Stone Creamery is facing a class action lawsuit because their pistachio ice cream is pistachio A woman from Long Island, New York, bought some in 2022, then found out they don't actually use pistachios to make it. They use pistachio flavoring. The ingredients in it include water, ethanol, propylene, uh, glycol, natural and artificial flavors, and food colorings blue one and yellow five. She says she wouldn't have bought it if she had known, and the judge just ruled that her lawsuit can move forward. It's not clear how much she's suing for or how much you could get if you bought any. Either way, it'll be a while. If she wins, it can impact the types of ingredients ice cream companies use, and they may end up charging more since real pistachios ain't cheap. Wow. Never ever thought I would read a story about a woman suing an ice cream company because there were no pistachios in the making of said ice cream. Well, you'll do something new every day, I guess. Cowgirls on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good afternoon, I'm Big Glenn Edwards. Your forecast is coming up. So, Mother's Day is Sunday, and in honor of the occasion, the Hollywood Reporter put together a list of the 10 most memorable moms on TV. So, I've got the 10 for you. They are in alphabetical order only, okay? This does not have a ranking of any kind, okay? Uh, let's see here. Number one. Edith Bunker, uh, played by Gene Stapleton for A While in the Family. Dr. Rainbow Johnson, played by Tracy Ellis Ross, uh, Blackish, the TV show. Carol Brady from The Brady Bunch, of course, the actress Florence Henderson. Claire Huxtable from The Cosby Show, Felicia Rashad. Uh, Tammy Taylor from Friday Night Lights, of course, the actress is Connie Britton. Uh, Sophia Petrillo from The Golden Girls, the actress Estelle Getty. Uh, Florida Evans from Good Times, the actress Esther Roll. Peggy Bundy from Married with Children, of course, actress Katie Segal. Marge Simpson, voiced by Julie Kavner from The Simpsons. And uh, number 10, Rebecca Pearson. 
from This Is Us, of course, the actress Mandy Moore. So there you go. The 10 top most memorable TV moms. Brooks and Dunn here on 101.7 KSAM playing today's best country and all of your favorites. All right, folks, it's time. Say it with me. It's your favorite segment. It's my favorite segment. It's everybody's favorite segment. It's your five random facts of the weekend. <laughs> Let's start at number one and go that way. We already went five to one. Let's go one to five this time. George Lazenby was offered a seven movie deal to play James Bond, but only played him once in On Her Majesty's Secret Service because his agent convinced him that Bond would, quote, be archaic in the liberated 1970s. Obviously, we know that the rest is history. Number two, there are only eight countries that don't have an official primary language. Pakistan, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, so I apologize because I probably said that wrong, Costa Rica, Australia, the UK, and the US. <laughs> Number three, John Quincy Adams was the first president with a middle name. None of the five presidents before him had a middle name. Interesting, because you just kind of assume most people now, nowadays, you probably see a few more people who don't have a middle name, but interesting back then that that was something too. Number four, tarot cards were originally invented in Europe in the 1400s as a regular card game. Fortune tellers didn't actually start using them until the late 1700s. Interesting. And number five, and finally, on the five random facts of the weekend, Marvin Gaye's real last name was Gay without an E at the end. He added the E early in his career when there were questions about his sexuality. I guess that would make sense. Also, I feel like that would probably end up becoming a stage name at the end. Just, you know, that's what a lot of performers do. They create stage names, but whatever. Tyler Hubbard, another top 10. Back then, right now.